Hi everyone, today's video is going to be a renovation video. In my last renovation video, which is also my only renovation video, it was actually a renovation challenge, whereas this one is not. My idea behind this video was that, so in real life, I just graduated school and I just started working full time. So my next adventure will be to buy a house. And so my thought behind this was... Um, maybe I found a house for cheap, but it needed a lot of fixing up, and so I fixed it up and made it into my first home. So, I made this house in my style. In the description below, I'll put the gallery ID as well as the lot name in case you want to try your hand at renovating this house in your style or for whatever you want to do. In the past, I've had roommates, and I've always had a good time with them, but I'm at the point now where I'm ready to have my own house, my own space, and not have to share it with anyone. So, when I saw this house, and I saw the two bedrooms, I thought it would either be good for one room to be my bedroom, and then the second room to maybe be a craft room, or an art studio, or a computer room, like a Sims room. I don't know. I want a two-bedroom, but not for two bedrooms. And so here I'm just cleaning up and repairing the wall damage and getting rid of any leftover furniture that the previous owners might have left in the house. Some people when they do these renovations, they'll do one room at a time. But with me, I feel like I just can't focus until I've cleared the house of like everything. Like I always miss a few things, but I feel like I can't begin to start on the house until everything is out of the house. I don't know. That's just me. And also, sometimes when I do renovations, I keep the same windows and doors and walls, but I thought this one, to better fit me and my style and what I wanted, needed a little help. So I did fix some of the doors and switch some, or not fix, but I did switch some of the doors and some of the walls. And so first, I started by switching the doors from the living room and the kitchen to doorways, I guess they're called. I don't know. I just feel like in my house, I want it to feel more open. Like, i rather doorways in the living room and kitchen areas than actual doors. And here we go again. If you've watched my other videos, you know that for whatever reason, in every build, I like to have, like, a bar stool area. Like, a little... I always call them breakfast nooks, but it's not necessarily for breakfast. Like, I like to have a counter, like, with bar stools and a kitchen table. And so, in the original build, they had a little bar area, counter area, but I didn't like the placement. And I want to fit a normal, or not normal, a dining room table. And I felt like with the placement of the bar where it was, that wouldn't work. So, I just had to move it a little bit. And I spent forever on this wall getting it the right size just to delete it i'm pretty sure um i was thinking the counter would go up against it but where i ended up in place the counter was like right over it you'll see here right in a second so after messing with the wall for 10 years i decided that paint and the walls were my first priority to pick a color and then after that i usually work one by one so room wise like i work one room at a time one by one so I decided to begin in the kitchen, and so I picked this um, black tile. I don't know, I just like the darker tile for floors. Um, well, I like any tile, but I was thinking that for the style I was going with, that the black tile kind of fit. And so I began by just placing counters where I would want them to go. I didn't really think about where I wanted the sink or the oven yet. I was just thinking about... Um, the counters and placing the counter bar stool top area see that's what I was talking about though I was thinking it would go up to the um, the wall would go up to the counter but the tiles just didn't lay or it wasn't the size I thought I don't know it just didn't work out the way I thought in my head so the wall there was pointless I wish you could add half walls to like the top of a room instead of the bottom, but you can't. So I just used this beam in place of a wall. Like I deleted the one and changed that to a beam. So that way it looks like just a little like decor over the breakfast nook area, I guess. I don't know. And so I used these bar stools, which actually just came with 
The Sims 4 birthday update. And those are by a custom content creator with the name of Harry. On Instagram, she's hey underscore Harry, H-A-R-R-I-E, if you want to check her out. And if you don't know about the birthday update, what it is is The Sims just celebrated their 21st year of, like, being a game on February 4th. And so they just came out with, like, a birthday present, a birthday pack, and it says unwrap 21 presents for 21 years of The Sims. And so what they did is they hired, um, I think, like, nine custom content creators to create the 21 items. And so some of them are, like, facial features. There's a couple clothing items. There's a couple of new recipes, a couple furniture items. And if you didn't catch what I just did there, you can go filter, like, in the filter section and filter just the birthday items. So you can see just the birthday items. And I'm probably sure you can do that in Create a Sim, too, to see what exactly came in the birthday pack. I have not looked at that stuff yet. And so here I'm just creating a little entryway and I changed the bar stools to pink. I did have them at black and then when I placed the pink entryway table, I changed them back because I was like, yeah, like you like pink more. This is your house. You would most likely have pink bar stools. So that's why I changed those back. And then here I was just looking for a little piece of art and me like I like cartoons I paint a lot a lot of cartoons a lot of like funny pictures and because this build is my style I tried to embody my style as much as I could and I said in my last video too I use backpacks more than I do purses so I just set my backpack that I typically use by the back door or I mean the front door and I felt the front door that came on the house was more like an interior door. That's what I think when I see it. So I did switch out the door and move the windows a little bit. And then here I was just making sure they were the same level. I don't know. Maybe it was the shadows. It made them seem like they were not. And so after that, I decided to just go ahead and do all of the floors. And normally when I have like entryway doors instead of just doors, I like to keep it the same. I feel like it makes the room flow better. I don't know, maybe not, but like in the kitchen there's still wood and tile, and then I placed the same black tile in, in the kitchen in the bathroom too, and my thought behind that was it just helps save a little bit of money, That like you just have to buy one type of tile instead of buying like a small amount of another tile, because like I know at least stuff like that, usually the more you buy the cheaper you can get it, so I was thinking like if I bought the same tile for both rooms in my house, I could save a little bit. I don't know. And then I placed these blue couches because in real life, I do have two blue couches. They don't look exactly like this, but this is pretty much the same color. And one's a, like a three-person couch and one's like a two-person love seat. So whenever I build like houses of mine and you see these blue couches, it's because I'm trying to make it realistic because I actually have these couches. But so I fiddled around for a while trying to figure out the placement and what else I wanted to put in this room. And so I just added a little magazine rack and a living room table. Right now I don't have like a living room table, but like when I look, I always look for circular round tables. I think I want like a glass top like round table when I really do get one. But for this build, I just went with this round table and I sized it down just once to make it a little bit smaller. And then I put that table in the corner with a little lamp and I think a little plant just for some added decoration. And I'll just go ahead and tell you, I do place a couple things on this middle table, but you can't tell right now, but they're like floating because I sized the table down they're floating and I couldn't get them to fit right. Like I moved the table and tried to like level them up on their own and I just couldn't figure it out. So in the screenshots and if you actually download it, there is nothing on that living room table for that reason. And I also don't know if I necessarily liked the little table under the TV, but I felt like it needed something. I don't know. But so here I thought I would have a desk with maybe my laptop. Because right now I have a laptop and like I play Sims on my laptop. But my like goal is to have a computer for like gaming, like a computer for Sims. And then I'll have my laptop that, like, I just use as a computer, like, for YouTube, for work, school, whatever I need it for in the future. 
And so I thought my desk out here would be my, um, I don't know. Well, actually, I was thinking this one would be my laptop and my bedroom one would be Sims. But now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure I put my laptop or I put a laptop in the bedroom. So I guess this would be my Sims desk. And I just put another little fun poster, a light. And um, because I'm a very messy person, I did clutter up this house a lot. And when I was showing my boyfriend, he was like, why is it so messy? And I told him, I was like, well, I just tried to make it realistic as possible. So, it's a little insight to my life. I'm definitely not a clean person. I try to be, but it just doesn't happen. Like, I'll clean my room and literally within a week, oh, game over. And so I'm just organizing the clutter. That sounds funny, organizing clutter. But for a build, you can definitely organize clutter. I was making it look the best way it can. And so it all fit on the desk the way I wanted it. And so like I just said a little bit ago, um, you see me placing a vase and a plant right here. And I thought they were on the table, but later found out that they were actually floating. And so I did delete those. So if you download the build or see the screenshots on my Instagram and you don't see the things on the table, that's why. Because um, they were floating. And so that was pretty much it for the living room once I moved those last couple things. Looking back now, I don't know if I really like those curtains, but you know it is what it is. And so, oh, a notification that I forgot to close. But I loved, I love these cupcake posters and I feel like I have to put them in every build that's my style because they're like one of my favorite things in the game. And so before I started working on a dining room table, I went and I changed all the counters to white because after thinking about it, in my dream kitchen, I would probably never have black counters. I just like bright colors and black is definitely not for me. Another thing, like white, black, or gray, like if it was a light gray, I would like it, but like, so white or gray cabinets for me, that way if I ever want to redo the kitchen, pretty much anything matches white, so I can redo it a lot of times and not have to worry about redoing the cabinets because they would just already match. And so after debating for a while, I didn't know if I wanted to have two bathrooms, like one main bathroom and one in my bedroom, but I felt like the bedroom and the other room were already kind of small, like skinny-wise. And I didn't want to take up any more room with the bedroom, so I just combined my room and the little office, or what was going to be my office, and the bedroom, and decided to have a really big bathroom and um, my office or whatever I decided to make it with my um, bedroom. And so, I like using this counter. I feel like it looks like a bathroom counter. But, it's just nice because it's bigger than a sink. But, when you use the end piece like that, it's not as big as two counter spaces. I don't know. I just feel like it works perfect in some bathrooms. Like, you have a little space for some clutter or decoration. But, then you also have a sink. Sometimes, I just feel like it makes the bathroom a little fancier. Like, look a little nicer, more put together. Um, but so here I'm just adding some pink towels since my favorite color is pink. I would probably have pink towels. I think I, I actually do have pink towels. And then just um, some toothbrushes, even though I'm the only one who lives here. It would probably only be one toothbrush, but, you know, it's okay. And so also in my bathroom, I want to have a bathtub and a shower. It'll probably be like a bathtub shower, but, you know, this is my dream setup bathroom and I had the room so I put a jacuzzi tub and a shower but I did not place this little wall just to separate the toilet just a little bit and it's kind of dark so I don't know if you can tell but everything in this bathroom is like a white gray and then the shower I think is a light brown so not a lot of color so I did in fact make the toilet in the sink like a baby pink like a bright pink I don't know, not bright pink, it's really like a dull pink, but it's kind of dark, so I don't know if you can tell. But then I just added a little decoration, and this shower I felt like fit the best because it's the most open, other than like just the one on the wall, but I felt like that didn't really work. The only thing is, is I don't know if they can get in it this way because I think they get in it the way, um, 
Like the one, the side that's up against the bathtub. So I don't know. It might have to be turned if you're actually going to use it. But I have not tried it, so I'm not sure. If I do try it, I'll say something about it down in the description. But at this point, I have not tried it yet. And another side note, this video is like 49 minutes long. And I feel like there was like not really much else I could take out of the video. So I don't really know what to do. Um, I feel like it's because it's a renovation. And not only in my building... But I'm also, like, I have to delete a whole house and a whole bunch of plants. So I thought maybe in the next video, I'll do, like, the inside in one part. Or, like, the house in one part and the landscaping in another part. Um, if that's, if you're listening to this part of the video and that's something that sounds like a good idea. That way, if you don't want to watch the landscaping, you don't have to. Or, um... It'll be easier to skip through. I don't know. If that sounds like a good idea, let me know. Um, I don't know. I'm just trying to think of other things so you don't have to sit through a hour-long video. I also think part of it is I haven't played Sims in a while, so I was playing with some crazy camera angles. So I feel like once I start playing again, I'll get used to it and not move the camera around so much. And so now I began trying to figure out how to fit a dining room table in this build and so i found the table i wanted to use and this chair right here is also by hey harry but so i just placed four chairs that i liked and looked around tried to figure out which ones i liked the best and um i really really wanted to use the ones by hey harry because i've never used them before but at the end of the day it's my style and i liked those eggshell chairs the best so that's what i ended up putting in this build and I didn't mean that in a bad way, like, hey, Harry, isn't my style. Like, I just meant these eggs, like, I like weird things, like, different things. And I feel these eggshell type chairs um, better fit me and, like, the things I like. And so another thing, I always get sad when I'm using these cupcake posters and I don't have room for all three of them. So I put the other one here and I feel like I probably should have just left that wall blank, but... I felt like it would have felt left out if I didn't use it. And so I messed around with the height a little bit and I ended up making them even with the door frames. But looking, watching the video now, I feel like that's a little too high. And I should have just left them where they were, a little under the door frames. And I don't know why I keep calling them posters. Last time I did that, like a couple minutes ago in the video, I was like, dang it, why did you just do that? And then I was listening back on that part and I realized I did it again. I know they're not posters. I don't know why I keep calling them that. And so in my other dream setup video, or my only dream setup video, I used this bed but the purple swatch. And even though I really do like the purple, pink's my favorite color. And so I feel like if I saw that blanket in purple and pink, I'd probably pick the pink one. So that's why I chose this bed. And I was trying to fit it, like, without the headboard, but it didn't work, and I really wanted to use this bed, so I just kept it. And maybe it looks a little bit weird because there is already a headboard on this bed, but I thought of this as, like, a little behind-the-table, or behind-the-bed table, and then I put these um, side tables inside, like, so you could just see the drawers, so it just looked like drawers. And that bed, I think, looked better, but I just really, really wanted to use this pink bed. And, I don't know, I feel like that's where I messed up, but it is what it is. And so I didn't know if I wanted to make the back table, like, more decorative or more, like, practical with, like, an alarm clock, books, stuff like that. Or if I just wanted, like, plants and pictures on it. So here, I was kind of thinking plants in the corners, at least. And so I was going around picking some plants that I liked and um, placing them where I thought I wanted them. And so my thought was like how tables have centerpieces, I guess, to just have some flowers in the middle, like in the middle of the bed and in the middle of the windows just for a little decoration. And then I thought this is my house, like I use my bed every day, so... I would probably sleep on one side and one side would probably have like a little bit of clutter like stuff that I use like books, my phone, phone charger, stuff like that. 
And so this side, I just started adding a little bit of stuff to make this side seem um, a little more personalized. And so I used to be on a bowling league, a bowling team, so I added that bowling pin. But it's not like I ever was like a really big bowler. I don't know. So I ended up and deleted it. I don't know why I really even added it. One of my favorite things to do is size down that, like, wall art for the floor and, like, move it up for shelf art. I don't know. Ever since I saw someone do it, I do it all the time. I just think it's so cute. Like, for, like, added stuff on a shelf, it's just, like, simple, but I think it's so cute. And so then on the other side, I just worked on making it look a little more organized. And like I've said in other videos, I know you can put pictures from the gallery, like, pictures that you've taken but I don't know how to do different poses and all my pictures always turn out bad so I just use like the butterfly and the apple pa apple picture and the pear picture and the sports picture and pretend like they're my own pictures but so I placed those books in the Kleenex like right behind the bed and my thought for that was like maybe like the things I need more or the things I actually use are um like, right behind me, like, I just reach for them, like, they're just right behind the bed, because, like, I use them all the time, I guess, I don't know, and so after placing all the pictures where I wanted them, I had to make it look like my bed a little more, so I had to do the only thing to make it look like me, and add some clutter, but I could not figure out what it was called, like, the mail clutter, I couldn't remember the name of it, and so typing in mail clutter, and paper clutter, and everything, I could not find it, but um, I knew I had placed it on the desk, so I just went and copied it. It's called Letters by the Pile, I think. But you could just type in letters and it would come up. But that is not what I typed in. So I just put the table back in so it looks like drawers. And my favorite rug in the game is the like plush rug. And so I just sized it up and put it under the bed um, in my room. And so after that, I just um, moved the window over. I think I replaced, or I doubled the window, but I ended up deleting the first one, I'm pretty sure. And then I was just working on a wall color, and I ended up going with this pink because I thought it kind of matched the rug, matched my bed, some of the artwork in here. And I went back to the birthday stuff and ended up and placed this flower instead of the one there before. Um, because I wanted to use um, as much of the birthday stuff as I could. And that flower vase, it's like wrapped in yarn or twine or something like that. I don't know. It's really cute. And that one is also by Hey Harry. And so here, I just placed a little TV. And thinking about it, like, realistically, that's super far away from my bed. And I probably wouldn't like it. But I didn't really think about that until now that I'm watching it over. And so then I was just kind of looking for a little table under the TV, um, and I couldn't find one, so I ended up and just sized down this table. But I thought, because on my TV in my room, I watch, like, Netflix. I really only watch it when I'm going to sleep, but I do play um, Animal Crossing on my Switch on my TV in my room. And so I thought I did want, like, a little table for my Switch um, charger console thing, whatever it's called, I don't know, and then I know this is not a wall TV, but I ended up and went with it because it doesn't, like, attach to the wall, so you can place it flatter against the wall, which I thought worked really well with the two doors being right there, and so I just added some pillows underneath, well, I tried to place these books, but because the table sized down, I still can't figure that out, but so, um, I just ended up just placing the pillows underneath as, like, some extra cushion. Like, if people come over or if people are spending the night, like, there's just some extra pillows we could use to make a bed or to sit on. Or if someone else is in there playing Animal Crossing with me, you know, I don't know, for whatever. And then, so I went back to the bed side of the bedroom for a minute just to finish things up, to wrap things up on this end. And I just added two rows or two... Um, planter strings, I don't know what they're called, two hanging planters, I guess, to finish up that because I felt like there wasn't a lot there. And this wardrobe is one of the things from the birthday pack by Peacemaker dot IC or Peacemaker underscore ID IC. 
Um, that's maybe their gallery ID, I'm guessing, because I cannot find them anywhere on Instagram. Maybe they are not on Instagram, but, um, I don't know. I would just guess that's their gallery ID then. And then this cutie cloud mirror is also by, and I just checked, it's peacemaker underscore IC. So if you search the gallery, maybe, I don't know, maybe they just don't, maybe that's their custom content ID. I don't know. I'm not really familiar with that very well. But, so then, moving on, sorry. So, currently, in my room, I just sit in my bed when I play Animal Crossing. Like, I don't have another chair. But, in my dream world, I would have a little sectional. Like, I know you're probably thinking that's the world's smallest sectional. Maybe not a sectional, but, like, a little love seat or something in my room to sit on and play Animal Crossing. Even just a chair. But, so, my thought was with that little sectional, that it's usually only me in there playing and, like... Maybe if my mom came over or a friend who plays came over, like, it'd be me and one other person. Like, to play a game, that's definitely enough room. And worst comes to worst, you can sit on the bed behind you and play. So, um, that was just my thought for that area. And then, since I deleted the second bedroom that was going to be the office, I had to include my little painting studio area in the bedroom. And, um, I was trying to, like... In the room now, I have a fold-up desk. Like, it really is like a temporary little studio until I get my own place. So, I thought maybe in this house. Like, I would know I'm not going to be here forever. Like, that I just had like a temporary craft setup. I don't know. That was my thought. But looking at it now, this would literally never work. Because it would work a year ago when I really only painted. But since then... um. I have, like, started working with clay. Like, I work with um, clay foam. I make things out of clay foam. I make, like, earrings out of polymer clay. Um, I also have a Cricut. I do a lot of things with my Cricut. And I also, for my birthday, um, I'm getting a rug gun. Like, my birthday was a couple months ago. But I'm ordering a rug gun. And so, like, thinking now, it's like... Maddie, that little tiny area in that bedroom would not be enough room for all of your crafts and hobbies. So, that wouldn't really work, but when I, I don't know, it works for the build. And so, also, I've been watching on, like, TikTok a lot of, like, custom desk builds of people making their own, like, in-home offices. It's been a lot more popular um, because of quarantine, and so I've, like, thought about that. Like, I want to make my own desk so I can, like customize it for what I need I just feel like that would be better and um hopefully it would look better than the desk in I built in this game not that it's a bad desk but in reality I'm building my own desk so I can have a bigger desk I don't know um it would not be like the, that in the game and then here I just added a table in that dresser I don't or desk drawer I don't know I don't know if it's functional but in real life um I have a tabletop easel, and it doesn't really look like that. It's pink, first of all, but um, that was, like, the closest I could get to a tabletop easel or, like, closest I could get to real life, so that's why I went with that. And then here, I really, for whatever reason, wanted to place this. I just like the pink in it, and so I tried, like, literally every room to place it, and I couldn't. And then to just finish things up in the bedroom, I, um... Like, in the paintings, there's these, like, wall art things. Like, you, they're just up against the wall. These ones, and then, like, the painting ones. And I like them. It's just, like, decor. Like, you can put it on a shelf or the floor. I don't know. I just think it's cute. I like it. I use them a lot. And so, my thought behind this was, like, well, when I... So, right now, all the artwork I make, I don't put it on the walls because it's, like, I'm not going to be here for that much longer. So, why put so many holes in the walls to have my artwork up for, like, a few more months? Um, so right now it really does look like this, like it's all just leaning up against walls like that. So really when I get my own house, I probably won't have as much on the floor, like I'll hang it up when it's done or give it to whoever I did it for. But right now, um, or maybe I just moved in and like I don't know, or maybe they're unfinished pieces, I don't know. But like I said, I was trying to make it realistic and that just seemed pretty realistic to me. And I really like that polka dot planter, so I was trying to make it work. And I ended up and put it on the other side of the bed because my thought too here was, I live here by myself. 
And so I only sleep on one side of the bed. And because I am a very cluttery person, I, like, cluttered up the other side of the bed. You know, I don't use it. Like, I don't need that walkway. So I put all my paintings, plants over there, you know. I don't know. Like I said, I was trying to make it realistic. And realistically, the areas of my room that I don't use a lot have just random stuff in them. So that's what I was trying to do. And so that mirror right there, like next to the wardrobe, I get so irritated because I like the pink one, but like me, I don't put stickers on anything. And so like the stickers on it, that is not me, but sometimes I just want that pink mirror, whatever. But so here I'm just adding some stuff to the kitchen to make it seem a little more homey. And I don't drink coffee, but my boyfriend does. And like in the mornings, he always leaves to go get coffee. So I always tell him that I'm going to get a coffee maker from my house so that when he stays, he can just make it there. But um, I probably won't do that till I get my own place just because. But um, like my mom has a cure rig and I like hot chocolate from there. So I don't know. Maybe I would use it sometimes. Um, I don't know. I just don't like the taste of coffee. Like the only coffee I like is if it doesn't taste like coffee like from Starbucks, the only thing, I don't even get Starbucks that much, like, I probably haven't had it in, like, a year, honestly, um, I get it sometimes, my mom always gets it, so sometimes when I'm with her, I'll get it, but it's a java chip frappuccino, and it's pretty much like a chocolate shake, like, you don't taste any coffee in it, um, and that's why I like it, but so here, I was just trying to add a little decor, and I added that, like, fruit, not fruit, fruit, not fruit, the cake, the desserts thing, because, like, I feel like I always have to have something sweet, like cookies, brownies, whatever it is, I have to have something, so I added that, and then I had the fruit bowl in that plate stand, like, I thought maybe it was a piece of art from when I was younger, or, um, from an artist, or someone sent me that, I don't know, um, and I tried to place it over there, but it just looked a little too cluttered, and so I just spaced it out a little bit, and I thought maybe this was an award from... Who knows, maybe, like, uh, longest, most annoying videos. No, I'm joking. But, um, I don't know, just something cool. Something I just added it for decoration, didn't really know what it was. And then I just placed a little trash can here. And I know this is kind of small for a kitchen trash can, but, one, I live here by myself. And, two, um, I don't know, uh, the bigger ones just didn't really look that good right there. And, I don't know, a lot of people have, like, little mats in their kitchen, like, cushion mats so their feet don't hurt when they're washing dishes. I don't know. My teacher used to have one in high school um, by her podium, or by her, like, projector thing. Um, it was kind of funny. But, so that's what I just placed in front of the sink. But here, I'm just kind of doing a little last overview of the house, checking everything, making sure I like it um, before I start working on the outside. And the one thing I wish I would have done is the lights. Like, when you zoom in, you don't see the lights. So, right here, you can see there's, like, all the original lights are in there. And some room, or the bathroom, I changed them, but I think everywhere else still had them. And I wish I would have realized that. But what's done is done. And if you see what I'm doing, well, first of all, I'm deleting all the weeds. But if you click... Like, click and hold one. You can't really do it on walls because it deletes the walls or inside deletes furniture. But if you click and hold, it'll, like, make a square around it. And you can delete multiple things at once. Um, I just recently learned that. I don't know if I was living under a rock or if a lot of people just don't know that. But especially, like, when doing renovations, it really, really helps and can really speed up the time of clearing out stuff. And so, as I was getting rid of all of this um, rubbish, I was trying to think of what I wanted to do with the outside of the house. Because, like, on each side, there's a decent amount of room, but it's not like there's a huge backyard or a huge side yard. So, I didn't really know what I was going to do. But first, I decided I did not want the pool um, on the patio. Like, maybe I did want a pool, but I wanted that patio just to be a back patio. So I deleted the pool, lowered the foundation, and then began working on the exterior. Um, almost every time I build my house, I make a pink house. And also, I really do like this build. I like the one story. I like the roof. 
but I don't like the roof of this, like, the second, right there with, like, the circle window. I don't know. I just, it's not bad. It just, I would have probably maybe done something different. Like, maybe, I don't know, though, because it's so small. I don't know what you could do. So, maybe I would have just got rid of it or put something else there, like a chimney. I don't know. Sorry for that little rant, but, um... If that's the only thing I don't like about the build, I'd say it's a pretty good build. I mean, I do think it's a good build. That's just the one thing I would change in it. And also, it's not the builder's fault. Um, I don't know what I'm doing wrong or if it's just, like, something in the game that doesn't work. But I like to put columns on the ends, like, the corners of the house. And they don't go, like, I can't make them taller for the second floor. And then the second floor, or second story ones go too tall, like, through the roof. So, I don't like that. But then here, I just placed a little vent, um, since there is no window up there. And I thought it looked a little bit too blank, with nothing there. And so, the original lot had some sandiness around the ground. So, I was just filling in some green to try to make it match a little bit. I know it's nowhere near perfect. It's really not even that close. Maybe one day, I'll learn how to match it perfectly, or just to, like, reset it. I don't know. I just don't know how to do that, so... I just tried to make it at least blend in a little bit. And so after I made the grass blend in the best I was going to, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do, and I found a different terrain paint to make a little pathway to the backyard. Um, I didn't want a pool. I just didn't think that was enough room to have a pool and lounge chairs and everything. So I thought just maybe a little pond because right behind my house, there is like a chess table or a picnic table and a tree. And I just thought it kind of went well together. But so to make a pond, you use the pool tool and then just pick whatever watercolor you want. I picked this one because I thought it was most pond-like. And then I saw on TikTok, if you use, I think, I don't think it has to be black, but the same color floor and the same color wall, it makes it like disappear. Like it looks much more like a pond. You can't see where the floor changes to the wall so I just picked the darkest floor and the darkest wall I could find and so then I just went back to the terrain paint and started using a dirt color to blend in the outer bit of the pool a little bit more and so after that after I finished up the dirt I began working on plants and what plants um, to put around it because that'll help it blend in to make it look like a pond and like I said earlier, I did not play test this, but I do not think um, the plants get in the way of the pond. Like, I think you can still swim. It'll still be fine. But I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that. And I really like the way this pond turned out. It's my first time ever trying to make a pond out of a pool. And so if I ever do a challenge or if someone else does a challenge... I think it would be really cool to make, like, a rundown park with, like, a pond like this and a bunch of weeds, like, overgrown weeds, trees, trash, blah, 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 and to have um, whoever redo it, like, make it a nice park or a new whatever. I just think that would be a cool thing to do. Maybe one day. And the only way I do landscaping is by adding, like, 200 plants. I don't know. Um, I just like a lot of plants, and so I feel like every house or every build I do has so many plants that it's, like, overgrown plants. Like, in real life, like, if someone, if you were driving by a house and you saw this, you would probably think, like, they don't take care of their yard. I don't know. Um, but in my, like, idea, in my head, it's, like very well taken care of just like a lot of plants like they're a plant person like well it's me like I want to be a plant person but I can't keep plants alive inside so my thought is is maybe if they're outside growing in the grass that nature can just take care of them for me and so here I'm just adding some last minute flowers to this little area before I start working on the other side of the pond and now as we make our way to the other side, I'm just um, filling in the back side of the pond with some other plants. Um, I also, when I build, I like to make plants go like over the white line, the property line. I feel like it makes it blend into the world a little bit better. 
But I did add a ladder. I know it's a pond, but... And lights, but I was thinking, like, a man-made pond. You know, like, she, like, or she, me, I had a pond made, or I made a pond in the backyard, you know, whatever. I don't know. But, um, you can see a little bit of the wood, or not wood, but, like, pool base, pool lining, outer pool. But I put plants in most of the area. Like I said, haven't play-tested it, but I feel like it should be fine. Like, you should still be able to enter and exit the pool with no problem, and then because we're going with a pink theme, I picked a pink floaty raft to put in the pond, which I think you can use just fine. Watch, I keep saying all of this stuff is fine, and someone's actually going to download this to play in it, and literally nothing's going to work. And so here, I was just using a brown dirt-colored terrain paint to just tap around random areas. I didn't want it in any specific shape or... Um, like too harsh of a line, so I just kind of tapped a little bit of everywhere. Um, and I wanted a small fire pit, so I sized down the fire pit. And like I said, I like placing things over the line so it blends in. So I purposely place it like that so that the chairs go over the line a little bit. And, um, the dirt from, like, people walking there, obviously, you know, it's walked around a lot. Or maybe it's from the grass catching on fire. You know, if you have a fire and, like, sparks come out and, like, they'll, they can, like, land on you and they burn. They'll burn holes in your clothes or whatever. I don't know. It doesn't really matter how the dirt got there, but I put dirt around the fireplace. And then here, I am just placing some weeds, flowers, grass around the pathway. Um, kind of just carving out the pathway a little bit more. And then after that, I changed the siding not the siding the um what would you call that the platform color i can't remember what it's called um but i changed that to like a stone every time i see it, i think cobblestone but i don't think that's cobblestone i don't know what cobblestone is but i just feel like the colors in it go well with pink the foundation color not the platform color i don't know why i couldn't think of that word but here i just realized that that wall literally has one little tiny like bathroom window type window and I was like that does not look good so I placed the vent but it still wasn't enough and I probably maybe should have just placed another window but I just started placing like this overgrown grass like all up against the window or I mean up against the wall um as a plant and then I thought I started I was looking for a plant because my thought was maybe the vines of whatever plant is on the wall um just overgrew and I just like let it take over the house I guess and so that was my thought I placed this planter box and I mean really there would probably be flowers all over it if that's really what happened but I don't know it works in the game so my thought was um that this planter box just like overgrew along the whole side of the house and so as we get to the final bits of this build I started by adding a fence around the back porch and the front porch and I chose this one just because I felt like it was like a little whimsical. Um, it kind of matched the outdoor aesthetic of the house, I felt like. Like the pink, it matches the pink. But like the style of it just goes well with the plants. I don't know, I just really liked that. So I was placing this table and grill stove thing. And then I realized I was accidentally placing it on the second level. And so I had to move them both down. I don't know if that ever happens to you, but it definitely happens to me sometimes. And so I placed this um, table and chairs. And I was thinking, because it matches the trash can and the little stove grill, but I feel like that table is just a little too fancy for what I had going on outside. And maybe, maybe I should change it. So I don't know and also I placed that lounge chair as like a placeholder for a lounge chair and I meant to go back and change it to one that I liked or at least look at them and I never did and I'm just now realizing that but that's okay and I ended up placing a hot tub just because I felt like I needed something else up there but didn't know what so felt a hot tub work like you know you have a pond but sometimes it's cold out so, and I've always wanted a hot tub, like, I kept joking that, like, when I got my, like, I have a real job now, and I kept joking to everyone that as soon as I get my first paycheck, that I was gonna buy a hot tub, but obviously, well, not obviously, because you don't know, 
I did not buy a hot tub. There's other things I have to do first, unfortunately. I haven't been working for a while because of COVID and going to school and um, just a lot going on that I haven't been working, or I wasn't working, but now that I'm done with school, I am working full time. That there's just things I have to do before I can have some fun with my money, I guess. And also, I'm trying to save, like, every penny, other than, like, living. Like, I have to spend money to live. But other than that, I'm trying to save money as I'm trying to buy a house. Kind of, like, what inspired this video. So, I feel like it'll be a while until I buy a hot tub anyways. But, once I have my own house, and once I am making maybe, like, a little more money where I have some, like, fun money, that will be my first purchase, a hot tub. And so here in the game, I'm just adding some plants to the front because I kind of have to even it out. There's no way you can have all those plants in the back and nothing up front. So I was just kind of trying to balance it out a little bit. And I also thought um, maybe like if I have friends over to swim or just hang out, sometimes they don't always go through the house and maybe like I have a little pathway to the backyard. And so that's what I was kind of thinking. And so I was just placing some plants like outlining a little pathway for that and like I've said before I just pick plants like based on their colors what I think I like together I don't know if these are summer plants winter plants if they really do go together honestly like I feel like they're all plants from different games different um like climates and they really would not work together but I don't know I just never really think about that when I'm playing but so here I'm using the pebble terrain paint that I used earlier just to make a little path up to the front. Um, not too much, but just enough. And then I just went back with like these tiny little rose bush flowers. I don't know what bush they are, whatever. But just to outline the path a little bit more where um, maybe it was a little sparse or missing a little something. Just in that area and then I added a little more towards the front near that pur purple bush as well and as we are really finishing things up getting really close to the end um after placing these last few bushes or flower whatevers we go back and add a fence and like i said it's the same one from the back cut costs first of all and just make it look more uniform and so here i just thought like, I added that little couch as a little sitting area. You know, like, I don't know, I do at least when my friends are coming to pick me up. If it's nice, out, I'll wait outside. Or if my friends are stopping by, sometimes we'll sit on the front porch. I don't know, maybe no one else does that. But here I just added some terrain paint to use, um, or to make a pathway from my front door to the sidewalk. And then I added a fence, and I couldn't put it all the way because of how I placed the fireplace. I mean, the fire pit and the pond. So I just placed it, like, up to the plant areas. And I thought the back fence didn't look as weird, but I thought the side fence looked a little weird. So I placed a tree and some extra plants to make it look better. Like, I don't know, I just thought I made the fence stopping point look a lot better. And so, because this is my house and I don't share it, I can pick whatever mailbox I want. And I forgot about this cat mailbox because usually I don't use it in my builds. But um, because it's my style, I just looked through them a little bit, found I like this orange one the best, and so I picked that one. And I know your mailbox usually doesn't go up by your house, it's usually by the road. I don't know what I was thinking, but I just put it there. And so that is it for this build. Here's a last through little walk through, little tour. As soon as this video is posted, you know that means this house is available on the gallery name and description. And I'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching and for your support.